Well, God bless you wherever you are. Maybe you wasn't able to make it to service today. Maybe you missed the word on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, but it's a blessing. You can always go back and hear many uh, great uh, men of God, women of God that's sharing their heart, that's sharing the word of God, they're sharing the thoughts of God. <clears throat> well, one of the things I want to share with you I ministered on today was the greatest person to ever knelt or kneel. And that person is Jesus Christ. Yes, the Son of God. We're celebrating Happy Resurrection Day. Uh, he is risen. But you know what? I want to do something a little out of the norm. Uh, I wanted to step out of the box and expand uh, your thinking. And one of the things I want you to think upon is if Christ would not have yielded or kneeled to the Father's will, there would be no preaching of the resurrection or he is risen today. Uh, because he submitted to the Father's will, he knelt down and bowed down and he prayed to the Father. He even said over in Matthew chapter 26, he said, Father, remove this bitter cup from me, but nevertheless, my will, but thy will be done. You know, Jesus was able to submit to the Father's will and by him submitting to the Father's year, uh, will through humility, he was able to, Watch this right here. To buy us back from the hands of the devil. He submitted to God's perfect will for his life. And also he thought about you and I while he was under that submission. Before he submitted to the Father's will, he thought about you and I. And that was that gave him enough motivation to say, nevertheless, my will, but thy perfect will be done. He knew what God's heart was. He knew where God's focus was and God's focus in his heart was on you. So if there was never a kneeling under the hand of God, under God's authority, there would be no preaching of the resurrection. Glory to God. So right now we thank God for sending his son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins, but not just dying for our sins, but Jesus gave us a great example for us to follow. Each and every day, we thank you, Holy Spirit, for that. Each and every day, we should kneel our hearts, our attitudes, our thoughts, our total being, our total life. We should kneel under the mighty hand of the Holy Spirit. And listen, goodness and mercy, yes, shall follow you all the days of your life as you kneel to the leading of the Holy Spirit, as you yield to God's perfect will for your life. Yes, kneeling is a, is a sign of yielding to the Lamb of God, to God himself. And we appreciate Jesus for being that example that we too must follow. Why don't you yield to him today? Why don't you kneel? Yes, and when God is saying, when he's saying kneel, he's not just saying get on your knees and pray and cry out to me. I know some people get on them knees every single day and get up, you're cursing. Come on, you got a bad attitude. Listen, listen, listen to me right now. If you get the next time you get down on them knees, you're coming up a different person, said the spirit of the living God. Why? Because now you understand I must kneel under the presence of God, kneel under the authority of God and watch he do a miracle in my life. Because kneeling is a sign of humility and submission under the mighty hand of God. Remember, if Jesus would not have kneeled down to the Father's perfect will, there would be no preaching of the resurrection, of the He is risen. He was only able to come up out of that grave because forehand He gave His own will over to the Father's will. And you must do the same thing. We must yield to the Father's will daily for our lives. In doing so, you will have victory over the enemy. You will have victory over whatever you're going through as you yield, as you kneel to the Father's perfect will. I pray that this made sense. But remember, it's time to kneel to the Father's perfect will for your life. God bless you. I'm Pastor Huey Harris. Until I see you next time, God bless you.